is arts reporter Sujan, and I am reviewing the Dodo show at Noise Pop 2000. It was the final night for Noise Pop's five-day festival, and it ended at the Great American Music Hall. They had three really awful openers. I don't know if they chose them purposely because they were such direct counter opposites of the Dodos, especially the one that went right before them. They were two guys as well, and they were just like really loud and obnoxious. Whereas the Dodos were very minimalistic, they played with uh, they played with a drum kit that was missing a drum bass and three types of different guitars. This was a departure from their past albums because they're known to play with a lot of instruments like vibraphones or ones at Noise Pop 2010, they played with a full orchestra. So this time for them to be just them two was a very simple and refreshing change. sound was more rock than their usual indie pop and I think that there were faces in the audiences that seemed a little confused and a little disappointed but I thought it was a really good change for them and it really showcased their art musical abilities really well. They were very inward, but in a in a good way. They were really focused on what they were doing. If you look at Merrick, he's a guitarist and the vocalist. He he seemed to have forgotten the fact that there was like a live show, a full you know sold out audience in front of him. If you look at the way that he just like closes his eyes and he just snaps his body in two, just so that you get really really close to the strings, so that he could make the perfect noises without sacrificing you know making it too loud because most of their music was quiet. from Daily Cup.